Hey everyone, today we're going to be walking through how you can uh, mine XDM using Tari Universe on the Vast AI cloud platform. So for, your, for those of you who don't know, Vast AI is essentially a cloud computing offering where you can provision yourself GPUs for any reasons you may need them from AI, machine learning, and even crypto mining. Um, so it's really a cheap alternative uh, instead of you know paying thousands of dollars for this giant GPU mining rig. Uh, that you can run at your house and it gives kind of a it, it substantially lowers the level of entry for uh, newer miners to kind of get their foot in the door and actually have a good chance at winning a, a decent chunk of blocks so um, Tari has been live for about two days already I've already mined 17,000 uh, XTM using this platform and I've been hitting blocks you know pretty much every two or three blocks I'm hitting I even somehow mined a solo block uh, this morning, which completely blew my mind. Um, so I'm using to mine is uh, two RTX 4090s. That's my first container, and the second one is running uh, three RTX 3090s. So at this time, I'm probably pulling about 10 to 12k XTM a day. Um, but again, we're going to be running this for the next week, so I'll probably get a better idea for um, how profitable this this really is. Um, but it's super easy to uh, uh, deploy and stand one of these up. Um, so the first step is you need to de deploy this Linux desktop container. If we go into the templates and search for the name, this is not the right one. You need to go directly to this link, which will be in the description. Um, for whatever reason, it just doesn't show up, and the other ones just don't work. And it just has something to do with how uh, Tara Universe uh, works as a desktop application. Um, so it's crucial to use this image. This, is, this one's tried and true, and um, I've been using this for the last two days or so. Um, your next step is to pick a GPU offering, which is kind of dependent on your budget. This is kind of my methodology of picking what's a good one. Um, so essentially, I take my cost, teraflops that offering has, uh, divide the um, teraflops by the cost, and then I essentially get a flops per dollar figure. Um, I think anything in between 20 to 250 is the best I've seen. Um, but just to kind of break this down, as you can see, the first line is um, 246 flops per dollar, and the third line is 232 flops per dollar. So pretty similar. Um, but if you look, the setups are different. This is 124090s, and this is 24090s. So essentially, um, for for every dollar we spend, we get the ability to mine with either 232 or 246 teraflops of data. I broke this down even more for how long you could mine off of $10. Um, in the case of this uh, the 2x 4090 rig, um, you can mine for 15 hours straight. And then with the, the uh, 12 4090s, you can only mine for two hours. Um, so kind of the same amount of uh, compute power is being used. However, um, it's kind of distributed over a, a different period of time depending on how powerful the system is. Um, generally with crypto, over the long run, it tends to average out um, as far as what your kind of total return is. But depending on what you're trying to do, if you're kind of in it for the long game and are okay pool mining, um, I would recommend opting for a less powerful offering that goes for a longer period of time. Um, but if you're just trying to win that, you know, that's that um, sought after solo block, you know, get that powerful rig um, and run it for a shorter period of time. But again, over the kind of the, the long run, they use the same similar amount of compute, uh, this first and third line um, for $10, just again, in a different time period. Moving on, um, once you pick yours, you just want to essentially click rent. It'll pop up in your instances here. Um, so the, I'll demo on this, this 3080 system here. So what you want to do first um, is open it up. Generally have to accept a certificate of some sort. It'll bring you into this option. Um, you want to deploy. It doesn't matter to use uh, the WebRTC or the fallback. I've always used the fallback. Essentially click the direct link. It'll bring you into VNC. Then you're in. Uh, so first thing you gotta do is download Tari. Um, so I just cancel here and whatever. This is a kind of a fresh install of Ubuntu, so you got to go through all this stuff. But um, you can either go to the GitHub, Tari.com. I am going to work, and I'll put it in the description when it's done, a better container image that 
deploys this automatically, but I just go to Tari's website usually. Um, click download, it'll detect that we're running a Linux machine, it'll down, download an app image. So while that's doing that, I'd like to kind of walk through another thing that I, I like to, to do as well that allows me to mine on one wallet across multiple uh, machines. So I have two fast AI machines running, and then I have three machines at home that are all connected to the same wallet. So that's why I'm getting this big spread of, um, you know, amount of XTM being uh, rewarded because I have five different machines reporting into the same wallet, which is totally fine. So the way to do this is you need to get your wallet config.json. What's really cool about Vast AI is in the console here, they do have an option to where you can upload and download from the cloud. So I link my, my Google Drive. Um, so in order to do this, you have to um, create a folder. This can be anything. It's just named the workspace that was the default. So in my Google Drive, I have a workspace folder. And within there, the only file in there is the wallet config.json. All you do is click sync. It does its thing. Um, takes a, a few seconds. Then once we get back into here, we'll pop into a terminal for our terminal work. Um, and we'll give it a second here. And then once you get the success, just a quick LS. I'll make this a little bit bigger for everyone too. Um, as you can see, we got wallet config in there. So what you need to basically do here is you need to do a um, move or a, a make dir. So we're gonna have to make dir and I'll put all these commands in the description as well. Um, home uh, user dot config, those all exist. And then you need to make the a directory com dot tari dot universe. Um, and then the next one you have to make um, is a slash main net folder. Then we'll just move the wall config into um, that directory. Oh. So basically on boot, this will um, essentially bring your wallet into Tari. So you're not wasting any time. And again, I'm gonna try and work on building a container image that does this automatically to make it a little bit easier for folks to do. Our next step will be to um, go into our downloads folder or wherever you downloaded um, the Tari Universe installer. Do a chmod, execute, and then the file name. Um, I'm just using tab to complete. If you're not really familiar with Linux, you can type in the next item um, and it'll actually auto-complete for you. Basically do that, then just do a slash. You can start it from the file explorer up here. Um, I, like like you would a normal app. So if I go into our downloads, you can just click it there. I like to have the command line in the background to see what's going on. So I just do that. Give it a second. And as you can see, we're getting a white screen. Now, um, I was hoping this wouldn't happen for the demo, but it is good to show you generally have to do this unfortunately with multiple VMs. For whatever reason, some are deployed differently and the actual GUI won't show. It's running in the background as you can see, so there is a way to kind of manually configure the application. It'll boot and then it'll um, you know, import everything. You just won't see it on the screen, but it sometimes glitches. So I'm gonna pause, or I'm gonna deploy another VM it's the same phase, it's the same steps, and we're gonna watch it sync and we'll get it running. All right, so we're back. It only took about three other VMs to deploy and run the same process. I know it's really annoying and hopefully it gets fixed and hopefully the custom container image that I'm building <laughs> takes care of this, but um, for now, um, it, it took about three. Um, and there's a variety of errors that I've seen um, the most common one is the white screen of death, where it just doesn't go. Um, but yeah, so again, I followed the same exact process before we paused. Sync my wallet config, and now all I need to do now is boot the sucker up. So as you can see, um, 
took about three or four seconds for the, the screen to go from white to connecting to the Atari network. I give it usually about two minutes, and if it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, unfortunately, just the way the platform works. Um, so the other hang-up that's pretty interesting too, and if you're solo mining, it won't matter. Um, this progress bar here um, will get to 97% right here, and it won't find a P2 pool peer, which is fine here. Um, and it will um, basically just hang there. So the way to get around that, to at least get in and give your chance to the solo mine, is you can go to the settings cog as it's warming up and just turn off pool mining, and it should kick you right in there. Um, and also, this went a little bit quicker um, because I already made sure that this one worked before I started uh, recording. So I um, it, it already sank the nodes. But usually... Uh, syncing to the blockchain and um, building its local node that it's running probably takes um, right now on day two about two to five minutes. But um, as the coin grows stronger um, and there's more blocks, it's going to take you know longer. Um, but yeah, so we're we're kind of rolling now. As you can see, we're we're mining. We're doing great. It pulled in my my other wallet info again. We'll take a look at my. Mine are running on my desktop, 17.27 here, 17.35. Sometimes some discrepancy, um, but the biggest thing is really just look, check out um, the connections tab and make sure that you are connected to the Atari network. Moving on to some kind of settings. Um, I was told by some other folks um, in the Atari telegrams to not use CPU mining. Um, two reasons. One, it'll slow down the machine so much, and the other one is it'll actually take away from GPU power, and the CPUs that are offered in these are not that strong. Um, if you really want to justify CPU mining um, and that random X mining that Tari offers, you have to find some type of offering that um, gives you the option to use those new AMD Epic chips to give you that high hash rate. But here we are. So we can see we have 30, 30, 90s, um, and we are GPU mining. I generally take it to, to, to ludicrous and after that, you pretty much just X out and watch the profits come in. Um, so I appreciate you for watching. Any questions, throw it in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to mine uh, XTM using Tari Universe on the Vast AI platform.